Let's continue styling our form. I'm going to go to that same frame we've been applying all our actions to and open up the actions panel. I'm going to copy that line of code that we last wrote by selecting and pressing Control C on my keyboard. That's Command C on the Macintosh. Press Enter to go to the next line. Press Control or Command V to paste that code. Now I'm going to select where it says color and I'm going to change that to Embed Fonts. Make sure Fonts has a capital F. I'm going to select that hexadecimal number and I'm going to type true instead. This will allow you to embed your font into your Flash document. Now what makes this really cool is that forms naturally in HTML use system fonts. And when you make a form in Flash we have the opportunity to embed a font and use whatever font we have on our system. And so however we design it is however it's going to look on an end user's computer which is very very cool. One thing though, after you type this code and you test your movie, you'll notice that something is not going to work right. You can't type in anywhere in your form fields. That's because in order for you to use an embedded font, you have to do something special first. So let's do that real quick. We actually don't even need to close the actions panel. I'm going to go over into the library, make sure you have it open. If it's not open, you can go to Window, Library, or you can press Control or Command L on your keyboard. In your library, right click or con context click on the Mac. Select New Font to create a new font symbol. And now here, I'm going to use the name of the font that I'm going to embed, which in this case is Trebuchet MS. So I'm just going to type that in here. And then in the drop down menu, I'm going to select Trebuchet MS. And then I'm going to click Bold here. So we're going to use Trebuchet MS Bold, so we're going to embed the bold font. Alright, now that that's done, let's test the movie and see if that works. Notice that it still doesn't work. I'm just showing you this on purpose because you might run into the same problem and it could possibly get really annoying. There's one more thing you got to do before you can use this font symbol in ActionScript. Select your font right or context click it and select linkage check export for action script press OK and now you should be good to go test your movie and check out your beautiful Annie alias font very very cool And so that's how you customize your fonts. And so we just learned a lot. We styled all of our components with the same style. Very fun. And we used any alias text. This is something that's a great advantage, remember that again, to using Flash forms instead of HTML forms. One of the pitfalls you can fall into, again, is that if you try to embed a font that you don't have in your library as a font symbol, it will not work. And even if you have that font symbol in your library, you must select linkage and check export for action script or else it will not work.